I'm Frances from Winstep Homestead. Thank you for joining me on this journey. I am working on making our own chicken feed for the chickens. We have been buying bags of chicken feed and we just felt like there had to be a better way. <laughs> so, so we've been doing some research, looking up some recipes and uh, found a combination of things that I felt like we could do for our chickens. So what we've decided to do is buy individual grains for the chickens. Here we have oats. Here we have millet. Here we have barley. This is lentils. Sunflower seeds. And we're adding just a bit of flax as well. I've got some golden flax. So, the fermenting process takes three days. So this has been fermenting for two days here. This has been fermenting for one day. And then I'm going to make some more today so that I have three days in advance. And so I've got the three buckets and I've done two days ago, I did one bucket and then yesterday I did another bucket and today I'm going to do the third one. And then each day after this, I will feed the chickens one bucket and then start a new one. What is recommended is that for one chicken, they eat a fourth pound of feed a day. So we are going by that. I'm doing two cups of each kind of seed per bucket, except for the flax, which I'm only doing a half cup. We'll see how they do with that, because if they have a lot left over, if they don't have enough with that, then I'll adjust accordingly. I'm going to do two cups of the lentils, two cups of the oats, two cups of the millet, two cups of the barley, two cups of the sunflower. Now the sunflower is raw, but it is shelled. And then I'm going to do a half cup of the flax. Now this bucket is lined because it had a crack on the bottom. I tried to do it yesterday and it was leaking pretty bad. So I've lined it with a plastic bag. And so that way hopefully it'll hold the water we need for this. A lot of people online, they talked about grinding the food or some of it needed to be ground or whatever. And so we're going to try it out whole first, see how they do. And if it looks like they're not eating it well, some of it they're eating and some they're not, then we'll see what we need to do to adjust it in, in the way of maybe uh, grinding possibly the lentils or, or cracking the barley or the oats or whatever but or even the flax but for now we're going to just go ahead and try it this first three whole seeds i used my hand scale to weigh out the amount of seed that i'm giving to them and it's exactly four pounds which is just right because we have 16 hens so four pounds is perfect for the amount of hens that I have so I'm gonna go ahead and fill this bucket halfway with water and then I'll have my third day ready to go now the problem with this type of feed is that it's not dry and the type of feeder that we've been using for the chickens with the dry feed the pellets was it just we filled the can and then it just flowed out to the edges for them to eat from this uh, fermented or uh, soaked seed is not going to flow through that very well so we're going to be making a different feeder so here we have this piece of rain gutter that was on the house over the front door we have taken it down because we put rain gutter all along the front of the house for our rain catchment. And so what we're using this for is to, to make a feeder. And it's 10 foot long. We're going to cut it in half so that we have two 5 foot lengths. And 
then one of the five foot lengths, we're going to put these little end pieces so that it, it will be completely um, contained like a feeding trough. And they go on the end just like this. The other five foot that we cut off, the other half of the 10 foot length, we're going to use as a top or a cover to prevent them from number one, getting up inside of it. And we're gonna be hanging it a little bit uh, so that uh, it's not down on the ground for them to be kicking a lot of dirt into it. And hopefully they won't be getting into it and, and <laughs> They like to get in their feed and scratch, and then it gets all over the ground and wastes quite a bit. So this way, we're getting it up off the ground, and we're going to have a cover on it so that they can't get up inside of it, and they're not going to be pooing in it, and <laughs> making a big mess, and wasting a lot of it. Here are all my sunflower seeds that I set out to dry. I'm collecting seeds for planting next year. These are the ornamental sunflower seeds that I collected that I'll be planting out front. And then these are the larger sunflower seeds that I'll be planting in the field to collect for feed next year. And then what we've been doing is just giving every afternoon. We'll take two or three of these or four and depending on their size and give them to the chickens every afternoon until they're gone. I'm going to go ahead and take one now to the roosters. I'm going to give the roosters a little bit of sunflower seed just to spread out and encourage them in their foraging. So even though these roosters we got as chicks and they've been in pens, chicken tractors, and chicken runs and so on all their life, um, I think they kind of get the idea of what they're supposed to do as chickens. I don't have to worry about them too much. But uh, I definitely will give them sunflower seeds every now and again so that that way they have a little supplement and I'll finish off the feed that we have purchased and scattering it about until it's gone. But uh, my hope last spring was to grow all the food I would need for the chickens for the winter so I wouldn't have to buy chicken feed. That didn't happen. So we've been trying to come up with some creative ideas some better alternatives than to have to buy chicken feed because it is a, an expense and it's a long winter. So that's why we've chosen to buy seed, mix it ourselves, soak it and ferment it, and hopefully we can save a little and it won't be as a big of a, an expense. We definitely are saving on eggs now. We're not having to buy eggs anymore and we're very grateful for that. And uh, as long as the roosters last, we haven't bought much chicken either. <laughs> That's just a little bit of an update on the chicken saga. <laughs> Thank you for joining me on this journey. I'm so grateful for you. Please subscribe and like. And if you have anyone that you know that would enjoy these videos, please share. It would be very helpful. Thank you so much for joining me. Until we meet again. <laughs>